Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. We are going to draw the head of Carcharodontosaurus today. Carcharodontosaurus is a genus of carnivorous dinosaur with a large head. It had a long head. Another feature was that the front of its mouth was sharp. Its head was generally an arc with its eyes at the top. The arc tilted downward from the back of its eyes. We need to grasp its shape when drawing. Besides, the structure of its mouth is also a key point. One distinctive feature of Carcharodontosaurus is that this line of its mouth went up like this and then bent downward. So, this line is also very important. In addition, we need to note that there were many keratinous structures on the head of Carcharodontosaurus. Above its eyes and nose, we can see many small keratinous segments, forming a structure like this. Now, let's draw the head of Carcharodontosaurus. First, let's determine the length to width ratio of its head. We'll draw it with its mouth closed, so the length and the height is about within this range. Next, we need to determine the general outline of its head, including some key information. For example, the positions of its eyes, nostrils, and so on. Let's start with its mouth. We can imagine that its mouth had such a line, and use a dotted line to sketch the general shape. Its mouth is S-shaped and this point is the highest. Then it goes down. We can use a dotted line to show it before determining the shape. Behind this corner, we draw one eye diagonally upward here. Carcharodontosaurus had very small eyes. We can draw it now. After determining the outline of its mouth, we can draw the details. There were four small premaxillary teeth at the very front of its mouth, followed by more than a dozen long and short teeth. We can roughly draw them one big and one small, but they might be not arranged like this. A dinosaur's teeth were uneven in length because it had to change many of its teeth in its lifetime. Some short teeth were the ones in the growth stage. The shortest tooth ended here. Then, we can move upward to outline its entire head. Carcharodontosaurus had a pointed nose, and the front end of its mouth was relatively sharp. That is a very important feature of Carcharodontosaurus. Going upward from here till the back of its eyes, there was a large keratinous structure, resembling that of Allosaurus. This part of Allosaurus was independent, but that of Carcharodontosaurus was almost consistent. We can use wavy lines to show it. Because the fossils are rough, there might be uneven keratinous structures on the surface. Note that the front of its eyes was the highest point, and the back of its eyes tilted downward. Extending backward, there was the second half of its head. Carcharodontosaurus had a very large temporal fenestra. We can draw one nostril about here. This bone where its teeth grew was called maxilla, which was like a boomerang. Next, let's draw its lower jaw. The end of its lower jaw stretched forward a little bit. Its lower jaw was very narrow, but the rear part of its mouth became wide, because they were full of muscles. Here is the basic outline of Carcharodontosaurus head, then we can add some details.
For example, its nostrils cover a large area on the skull fossils, but when it was alive, its nostrils were in this position, at the anterior part of its mouth. We can draw some thick soft tissue, and large scale-like structures at the root of, each tooth, like those of crocodiles. We can also draw some large scales at its mouth. Many dinosaurs, especially carnivorous dinosaurs, had large and thick scales in this position, such as Tyrannosaurus and Carnotaurus. We can slightly draw some boundary lines between this keratinous structure and its skin. and stop at the front of its eyes. We can draw the shape of its eye socket about here, and some wrinkles to make it look soft. For the crest-like keratinous structure, we can draw it rough and uneven. Then draw some folds before and below this eye. Behind the eye, we can draw some relatively large scales. Many reptiles have such large scales at the back of their eyes. Next, we can draw the corner of its mouth downward with some folds formed by frequent bending. There was a large pile of muscles on its lower jaw, and we can draw its outline. On its lower jaw, we can also draw some thick soft tissue to make it look more ferocious and more like crocodiles. Lastly, let's draw its neck and throat backward. Here, let's draw its ear and some folds at the rear. On its throat, we can draw some stripes of banded scales. At the front end below its neck, we can simply draw some shadings. Good, like this, we've finished drawing the head of Carcharodontosaurus.